I appreciate you for rocking with me. I was like, oh, she must be for real, man. Big Backstreets with Co shit. What's up? You tapping in with Backstreets with Co and you with DJ Lolo. DJ Lolo. Why not DJ Lolo? DJ Lolo? Because there is a DJ Lolo, actually. He's a man. And the way we met each other was we had a mix up with who was who or what was, you know. So. Yeah, there's DJ Lolo. I'm just DJ Lolo. Just DJ Lolo. Backstreets with Cole, man. We rocking. Where we at, man, for the people that don't know? We are at the gas station right here on Homestead Road, 955 Homestead Road. I'm here every day from open to close. You can come see me, come shop. You know, I'm fucking with you when y'all fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I DJ on Fridays and Saturdays. We always have events. We have hookahs, drinks, anything you need. Inside? Road. See, our tables? Inside and outside. So, if y'all, if like, we do inside and outside. It just depends on the vibe. So y'all have tables and all that set up here? Yes, yes, yes. Baby, I'm gonna have to come check y'all out. What's See, some spots for the people that don't know where you DJ at too. Okay, so I DJ Good Fridays on World Coffee. I also DJ Dynasty Headquarters. It's on Russia and Tidwell. I DJ Lola Lola Fridays. I'm also DJ Dynasty Headquarters. It's on Russia and Tidwell. I do a lot of private events, a lot of club events. Y'all see me everywhere with everybody. Big facts, big facts. Where you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm from Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. Well, that's city, baby. Oh, Cliff, that's my hood. That ain't your hood, you know. Wait, hold on. So how did you get down here? So my mom moved down here when I was a teenager. She got a job opportunity here. It was paying her more. So she like, she, y'all want to stay in Dallas and struggle? Or y'all want to get y'all ass up to come to Houston? We gone. You know what I'm saying? So, so when you came to Houston, what part did you come to? So when I first initially came to Houston, my first year in Houston, we lived on the south side. Mm, okay. <laughs> so like, I don't Why know. you said it like that? Cause you got that north side love you, 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 you it's all good. I got you, I got you. I touched that north side, the, the love, the embrace was different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's a difference when it comes down to Houston with the north and the south. And like mm. being, when you're not from here, mm -hmm. like you really see it. And you be like, damn, y'all really like, all right. So, mm. but the north side is, yeah. You been doing your thing in the, uh, doing DJing? So I've been DJing for two and a half years. So a lot of people still say, you know, you fresh, you new, you fresh, you new. Which is cool. Cause they don't I'm seem like no damn two and a half years. It seem longer. I know. You would think I've been in the game 10 plus years. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, fuck, fuck it, man. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So who got you into it or what made you say, fuck it, I'm going to do it? So um, I was working at this club on Jensen called Club 4800. And... I don't know how, but shout out to DJ Big Charlie one time. It's the 4800. 4800, okay, Big Charlie, okay. <laughs> he just he just let me get up there and start touching shit. And people was just like, oh my God, Lo, you should be a DJ. You sound good, you sound good. And so people just started calling me DJ Lo. I was a bottle girl, y'all. I was a freaking bottle girl. People just started calling me DJ Lo, DJ Lo. And so like, I really tapped in once they started paying. You went from bottle girl to DJ? Just cause Damn. I was fucking with shit, bro. Like, just cause I went up there and started touching his board. I started changing songs on the computer. I just started doing stuff and he just let me, you know, do what I do. But at the same time, once he once he realized that I was actually working on it and being passionate about it, he started to teach me, he started to guide me, and I'm forever grateful. Big Charlie, 4800 taught you how to... Throw them bows up. Okay, man, so yeah. that's that's dope to, dope to hear. So wasn't no women influences out here at all? The women influence didn't come till later on in the game. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Least, that's real. She. I wasn't. I wasn't aware that it was as many female DJs as it was until I actually got out there. Until I started going to different clubs, going to different places, like actually getting into what being a DJ is. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I think the first female DJ I've ever heard DJ I've ever known of was DJ AL. Mm. And shout out A.O., okay. Shout out DJ A.O. She was DJ at a B. King show. Mm, R.P. B. King. I was just like, what? That's a girl? Like, what? Like, it's females? Like, I ain't alone in this shit. Like, nah, that's, for real. That shit was Damn. That shit was so that, cool. That's dope, baby. You see a lot of us rapping and shit. You see a lot of us doing the camera shit too. But why you think it's a lack of representation for the females on the D? Excuse me, on the DJ side. Cause I can name a few, but it's like in the city as far and few in between. 
So if we're being honest, if we're being real, there's a lot of hate. There's a lot of jealousy and envy when it comes down to the DJ game and the DJ world. And a lot of people do not understand. Like us as women, naturally in any field, in anything we're doing, we have to push 10 times harder. We have to work harder. We have to go above and beyond just to have our faces in the, the how you say it, just to have our faces out there, our names, right. like just to push ourselves out there. Like a lot of people try to shadow bands up and push us in the back, like, like, oh, you a woman, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, I'm a DJ and an MC. Hmm. So, like, can't nobody be like, oh, she just DJ. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm a DJ and I'm gonna talk about shit too. Like, mm -hmm. being around the men and like coming up in the game around the men, seeing how they operate, how they work, how they treat us. Like, all my female DJs that are my homegirls, that's my friends that support me. I love y'all 110%. But well, we gotta stay strong because these niggas is. <laughs> Like, Damn. they hate to see a female come in and dominate their field and what they doing and Facts. being better than them, man. You know, I want her, I want her, I want her. You know what I'm saying? Like, men got egos in them like that. Yeah, you preach it to the choir. <laughs> so, well, she, since you're on that topic, what's the hardest part about being a DJ? The hardest part about being a DJ, I'll say holding it. Like, holding, like... The hardest part about being a DJ is when you reach your peak, don't fall. Like, don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't get up there and then get big headed and be like, whatever, whatever. Because a lot of people don't understand your crowd and walk out, your crowd will die out. But your energy die out, the people, they not feeling it as much. So, like, I feel like the hardest part for me would be, like, holding it. But mm -hmm. at the same time, like, I'm two and a half years in and I feel like at this point I'm mastering it. So that's where the MC had come in. That's where the talk had come in. Like, when I'm on that mic, it's a whole new level. Like, Man. I learned there's a difference between me DJing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, man. Backstreets with cold shit, man. What was your thoughts, man? Cause like I said, you had you had hit me. I was supposed to pull up on you last Saturday, bro. Last weekend, this past weekend, man, and that Laura Copy shooting and Treating Gordon got all this bad press. <laughs> but your ass was you in the vicinity, bro. What was your whole thoughts on everything? I'm so glad to hear you great. I'm glad my ass ain't come. I'm so glad you ain't come. I said, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. My, my whole note yeah, on that, uh, and like I'm gonna say this know. now, like my condolences to everybody who lost somebody, my condolences to everybody who was there who got injured, hurt, mm. all of that. Like, it was an unfortunate event. It did not have anything to do with the club within itself. It was somebody who genuinely made a bad decision, made a bad idea. Mm. You know, and I hate that it gave a bad look on Trinity Gardens in our neighborhood. So you know, we are doing what we can to bring our neighborhood back, like bring that love back. Like we not just letting shit, you know, just go under the rug. We not just gonna let it just, oh, it happened. So we're just gonna, you know, like we're gonna give back. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take care of the families as mm -hmm. we can. But it was a very unfortunate situation. How do y'all deal with, like I say, people blaming the club, blaming niggas, blaming, like you read the comments and just wear their mouth. Like I say, they want to hold certain people responsible. Just how do you deal with like the negative bullshit that comes with it? I mean, that's just like, that's just like anything. Any club owner, anybody who owns an establishment of that nature, like this is the things that they have to deal with, that they have to go through. It's not how you go get through it. It's what you do. Like you have to let the people know we care about y'all. We care about our community. Thanks. Like you have to, you have to do a little bit more than just saying, you know. Hey, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like a lot of people, a lot of people. They wait for moments like this to happen to be able to point the finger and put the blame on oh. you as a club owner. They want to put the blame on you, your building, all of this. They want to tear your name down, but they want any opportunity to, you know. So I feel like that situation just gave people the opportunity to speak negatively and speak bad on someone. And I don't feel like that's right either. You know? Damn, man. What's, uh, what's your advice to these female rappers in Houston? Oh, my advice, ladies. Man, get in these motherfuckers' faces, man. Pop out at these clubs, you know what I'm saying? Bring your homegirls, bring your crew. Get in people's faces. You're, if you know your music is good, you know you got something, you know you pushing something, tap in with every DJ you see. I don't give a fuck if they trash. I don't give a fuck if you don't like the way they, they trash. You don't like them no. You know what I'm saying? But tap in. Walk up to your DJ. Hey, my name is. I'm an artist. This is my song. Ask them to spin your song. You get what I'm saying? Like, if, if you really like it and if you really trust yourself and you pushing your career and what you doing, 
Pay them motherfuckers too. I'm not gonna hold that out. Pay them DJs. Hmm. Hey, this five dollars. Can you play my song? Can you spend it? She hey, talking. this ten dollars. Can you play my song? Can you spend it? We what respect that. Like yeah. we, we actually like that'll make us pay more attention to you. Like instead of you being like, oh shit, play my song. I'm so and so and so and so. You gonna sit there holding me, but I'm like. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, right, so it's <laughs> best to get saying? y'all attention because they say DJs hold some of y'all don't play the music, and especially on the independent and the underground side. But how do you advise artists to come to DJ Low if they want to get their record spin? Say like at a Jensen event or Dynasty or whatever the fuck you at the private events. So like you I tell people co- all the connected. I am a sweet. Heart. I'm big a sweetheart. Fish. My heart is so freaking big. So talking to me is easy. Having a conversation with me is easy. But one thing I do not tolerate is disrespect. Uh-oh. I don't tolerate disrespect at all. You know, so the way to approach me to get your song played, you know, just come up to me, talk to me, have a conversation. Hey, Lo, my name is so and so. I rap, I'm an artist, I sing. This is what I do. This is my song. I want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever go to the DJ when it's the hype of the club, when it's, the club is at its maximum peak and everybody's vibing. Yeah. Can- 